Okay, everybody. Um, I am trying to figure something out here. Okay, I'm using my old phone for the live, and I know I'm early. I'm about 20 minutes early, and I'm doing that for a reason. Because I am testing a couple of things. Here we go. Hey. So I'm using my old phone. I hope you can hear me okay. I am in um, San Diego still. I am at Fiesta Island, as you can see by the thumbnail picture when you clicked on. I'm early for our chat for the movie, but I came on early to test out the mic, to test out the um, Lakin Halls. Lakin, Lakin. Um, there's your shout out. <laughs> um, so I'm testing that out real quick. And I'm also testing um, myself on the phone too. So I don't have the sound on the phone because I'm, it's delayed. You guys are delayed. Um, anywho, I am... Oh, that pill's so big. Ugh, hate it. Anyway, um, I'm early, so let me know. Thumbs up or a check mark or a I can hear you to let me know if you can hear me or not. So I'm at a, um, a van meetup thing here. They have them once a month here in San Diego. And um, pretty cool. Um, so many vans here. Uh, there were three of them I wanted to do videos on, but everyone's walking around, so the owners of the vans are not sitting at the van, unfortunately. So I couldn't ask them about a video. One in particular I really want to try and get, and I keep looking, I'm parked where I can see her, but I haven't seen her come back to her van yet. So, um, here you go. Okay, everybody's letting me know they can hear me. Yay, thank you. So, I'm on the live on my phone as well, as you can see. I'm watching myself live, and I realize that uh, it's delayed. The video's delayed. I didn't realize you guys had a delay on the video. So when I ask a question, it takes you guys a little bit of time to hear that question. So I didn't realize that, that it, there is a delay. But I'm watching as my other self <laughs> on the live as a, as a um, subscriber, commenter. Hey, Miss Harris. So hopefully now that I have service on both phones, I can the lives will be better, I hope. I don't, I don't know for sure. I'm hoping the lives will be better. It's not a long delay. It's about five second delay maybe, seven, eight at the most. But clearly there's a delay because I'm watching myself and I'm in proximity of the live. I'm in the same, you know, whatever. And it's, it's definitely a delay. It is what it is, no big deal. <clears throat> uh, Miss Williams TV, you wouldn't know if you were getting a delay or not <laughs> because you wouldn't know when I said something based on when you're receiving it, but I'm telling you that there's a delay in the video, so it's okay. It is what it is. As long as you're hearing me, that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. So we've got about, mm, I'm going to give it maybe 15-ish minutes before we start talking about the book. Um, did anyone see today's live video where I was on with Novel Culture? Hey, Jen. <laughs> oh, you're leaving. Okay, Jen's leaving. Bye. Feel, feel better. Yeah, don't stay in the cold air anymore. <laughs> All right. Love ya. <laughs> and um, so if you saw the live video earlier today with Novel Culture, um, thanks for watching. 
If you had a question that did not get answered and you want me to answer it now, quickly put it up so um, I can answer it real quick before we start talking about the book at five o'clock or eight o'clock, depending on where you are. Or there's gotta be another time, seven or six, I'm not sure. So if you put it up, I'll answer it if I can in the next 15 minutes. So I'll wait and see which ones pop up. Oh, yes, yeah, seven, okay. Central Standard Time is seven. Okay, gotcha. What is California's time called? The book title is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Hello, Carmen. Oh, okay, I see. Thank you, Karen. Okay, some people, okay, so Miss Harris is saying that her nook is delayed, but her phone is also on time. Well, thanks for watching on two devices. Thank you, yay, I love that. Will I ever come up to Michigan in the summer? A lot of beautiful places. Um, probably yes. Because I haven't, yeah, I haven't hit that yet. So yeah. Thank you, Eileen, for answering my question about the time. Cali is Pacific Standard. Okay, got it. Um, I can't tell you when you'll have to continue to watch videos and you'll have to continue to watch um, my Instagram and the Facebook group or my Facebook page. Guys, I just want to put this out since I brought up the word Facebook. If you're asking to join the Vanner Family Facebook group, excuse me, there are three questions and you have to answer all three and you have to answer all three correctly. I do not just give it to you if you get two. You've got to answer all three. The only freebie question I'll give you is my favorite color is red because apparently I thought I put it in the trailer video and I didn't. So the trailer video doesn't have that my favorite color is red, but I've said it in enough videos that my favorite color is wet, red. So if you've watched them, you've heard me say that many times. So I'll give you a freebie. My favorite color is red. That's one of the three questions. Go back, watch the trailer video. There's a playlist with just that one video in it. If you go to my playlist list, it says, um, channel trailer video or something to that effect but trailer video is in there watch that video the other two answers are there you have to answer all three questions correctly or I don't let you join the group now if you don't want to deal with all that just go and follow my page on Facebook if you go to Facebook and search for Crystal Vanner and look under pages you'll see me there Um, what apps do you use for van life? Um, Steve is asking this question. Uh, I just use the regular standard GPS on my phone. As far as van life goes, um, I use Power Director to edit my videos. And that's it. Yep. Hi, Bonafide. Um, free camping. Well, free camping is really easy out here on the West Coast because there's BLM land everywhere. Um, other than that, when I'm actually traveling, I just hit rest stops, sleep for the night, and move on. Um, East Coast is really hard to find places to park, but being in a minivan, I can just roll up to any neighborhood and pull on the side of the street. As long as there are other cars parked on the street and there are no signs saying that I need a permit, I'll just roll up on any neighborhood and park on the street. Um... I don't use an app for free camping out here because there's more than enough BLM land um, to easily find and enough people have shown you where those BLM lands are on their, on their um, videos. So um, Quartzsite is pretty much full BLM land. Havasu has plenty of BLM land. You don't really even need to look anything up. Um, hey, Mr. G. <laughs> Pam called him Mr. C. It's Mr. G, Pam. <laughs> I'm glad I have some admins in here. Thank you, guys. Um, um, so I don't really use apps. I did use uh, freecampsites.net coming out here, but two different times it messed me up and sent me to some places that were not, not great. So I um, really 
don't use it anymore. <laughs> um, uh, another Pam wants to know, how long are you going to be in the West Coast before you head back to the East Coast? So April 1st is my last day on the West Coast, and then I head back on April 1st. I start driving back East. Um, Miss Harris is saying she did not read the book. Read about two chapters and lost interest. I wasn't feeling it. I'm currently reading. Okay. Yeah, I did not read the whole book. I got to the very be first few pages, a couple pages of chapter seven. So don't worry. Um, it was not a, a great book and I'm sorry, but at least we got that genre of book done with and over with first and it's done. We don't have to revisit self-help or anything ever again. Um, would I ever get a froggy tattoo? Yes, I will probably get a frog tattoo and a wolf tattoo and a rubber ducky tattoo because a rubber ducky is Juniper, my granddaughter Juniper's favorite little animal, little toy um, right now. And I would probably get a little rubber ducky and put her birth date in it. And I will get a wolf tattoo, um, a wolf um, howling at the moon for my son because that's his favorite animal. And I collect frogs. So yes, I probably will at some point before I turn 50, I plan on getting all these tattoos done. <laughs> it's on the list. Um, uh, oh, Miss Harris is saying the chapters are named and not numbered. Um, but I was listening to it on Audible. So on Audible, it tells you, it says chapter seven, chapter whatever. So yeah, it does give you the chapter number in Audible. Um, is there a van RV share group within people traveling or traveling by plane or cruise for an extended period of time? Yeah, I can't answer that, Eileen. I don't know. Um, thank you for saying my Juniper is so cute. She is a cutie patootie, isn't she? Oh my gosh, that's my heart right there. All right, you've got about seven minutes if you want to ask some more questions that you didn't get to answer from the earlier, um, video um i think i have her on one of my videos when she was eating pizza we were at the pizza place but um hopefully when i get back i'll have more video because she'll be talking more um but if you're on my instagram or my um any of my facebook you will definitely see pictures of juniper and videos of juniper uh, any more questions i have a delay on my phone my other phone so if you're typing a question, you got a few more minutes, five, six minutes to ask them now. So I'm, I'm drinking this other apple cider vinegar. It's actually not too bad. Not bad at all. Oh, thank you, um, Cindy. So yeah, if you watch the live with Novel Culture, I really appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, when they um, when Lavelle hit me up about possibly doing that since I'd be here in San Diego, I thought that was really cool. I'm going to suck on this. My throat is dry. A lot of talking today. And a lot of, and it's cool out and a little windy where I am. I'm at the beach. I'm at Fiesta Island in San Diego. It was really cool to hang with them. I mean, they're, my, they're basically my son's age. My son is 23, and they're um, 23 and 24. So, I mean... Yeah, it was pretty cool hanging with them, and I'm their mother's, I'm, I think Lavelle said I was the same age as his mom, so <laughs> it was like, oh gosh, <laughs> that made me feel old, but it is what it is. It is nice seeing the different perspectives. Um, they're coming from, you know, very youthful, um, just kind of new into the real world kind of thing, although they were military, so they probably have a lot more experience than, than most young people their age, but, um, um, it was just nice talking with them. Good vibe. Um, Paris is infectious. Her energy is infectious. She's so exuberant. And, um, you know, Lavelle's just that peace, tranquil, chill mode. <laughs> They're such a yin, yin and yang and, you know, opposites, but it works. You know how it just, it works. It's like his chill helps calm her and her energy helps motivate him. It's just, it's really, it's really cool. They're a really, really nice young couple. Um, and I wish them lots of success in everything they do. So. Mm. 
No, uh, M. Garcia, I came on early. We're just answering some questions that um, didn't get answered from earlier today. And I apologize now, but I'm going to keep this lodging in, lodgings in my mouth. So you'll hear me. Um, yeah, it's going to be real nasty for a little bit. <laughs> I just my throat. I don't want to lapse into any of the yucky feeling I had in Vegas. So I'm going to keep this lozenge until it's gone. Um, someone is saying to let me know. Um, this is Carmen. Let me know when you come to South Florida. I will be going to Florida and my cousin moved to Florida and I honestly can't remember which part of Florida it is and I'm not sure if it's south or mid Florida or northern I don't know where in Florida he is to be honest that's probably the only place in Florida I'll be coming this year there will be more of Florida to come because some of these states are just so big I can't go to one spot I got to go to a couple of sp spots but I don't know if I'm going to travel around in Florida or just visit him for a few days and then keep going back up because I've got to get back home, you know. Um, not no womb, man. Not no womb, Ann. Okay, I'm just going to call you Ann. I am not military. I've never been military. The funny thing is my first husband, after we separated, split, he joined the military. So my son was able to benefit from military benefits growing up as far as um, medical benefits. And I could go um, before um, we got the actual official divorce. I had a card and I was able to go to like the PX and all that. But um, and my second husband left, finished the military a few weeks before I met him. So I've never been what you would call a military wife or an army wife or anything. So, um, yeah, it's just funny how that worked out. I never got to experience the whole military lifestyle, which I think in some ways would kind of be interesting to experience that. Um, I know it's very challenging for military spouses. So um, the fact that neither of my marriages worked out already, putting that on top of it probably wouldn't have been a good idea. But I still think it would have been interesting to just have that. That I think I would have done well as far as the moving around all the time because I like that. So... Um, hi Gladys from Vegas. Um, Mr. G, how was Kumba Fest? Okay, so Kumba Fest was small, way smaller than I thought. Um, <laughs> it's basically in this little teeny center that has two levels, um, an upper level and they had tables where vendors could set up. And then on the lower level, they had a few more vendors and then like a little auditorium where they were going to have the shows and stuff. But it was so small. Like, I'm thinking festival, like a block on the street outside. But it really wasn't. But it's nice. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I bought some good food. And I bought a little bit to have for later. But, um, yeah, and I looked around. I almost bought some material some Af from Genuine African Wax um, Material. To, but it was six yards. You had to buy six yards, and that's it. And um, he wasn't cutting it. He was selling it as a bundle. And I thought about asking Lavelle, and I actually did ask Lavelle, if I bought the material, would he make me a shirt? And by the time um, I thought about which material I wanted and went back upstairs to the guy's table, he was gone. His stuff was still there, and we raided around for like 10 minutes, and he never came back. So I didn't buy any material. Oh, well. Um, anyway, but at least I got to go and I looked around. I didn't go to any of I didn't go to um, in the auditorium. You had to buy tickets for the things they were doing. And um, three o'clock was the, the, the they had a step show and a dance show. But that was at three. And I didn't really want to wait that long and 15 bucks for a ticket. So, yeah, but I got to go. All right, Mac Johnson wants to know, can you tell me where you boondocked in Vegas? I'm going out there and need a safe place to park. So I didn't boondock in Vegas. I stayed with Miss M, who I stayed with last time. And there is visitor parking in her area where she lives, and we stayed in her house. Now, um, Mac, if you want to email me, I do have the coordinates. Um, yeah, I think I have the coordinates that I can send you to a place where I boondocked when I was with Uncle Lynn. 
It's not the best part of town, but nobody bothered us there. That's all I can do to help you, but email me that um, because I'm going to forget and I'm not going to be able to come back to this and look at this comment. I wish YouTube would let the comments stay like Facebook Live does. When you go back and watch the Facebook Live, you can see the comments on the screen. I wish YouTube would do that, but it doesn't. So anyway, email me, thenomadicnatural at gmail.com and ask me that same question and I will try and remember to send you those Vegas coordinates to where we stayed it was like a little strip mall and it had um, some um, U-Haul vans and we parked next to the U-Haul vans and nobody bothered us. There were like two semi trucks there and over to the side is like a dirt lot and there were some little cardboard and plywood structures where people were living, homeless people were living, but nobody bothered us. So we stayed two nights there, I think two nights there. Not back-to-back -back nights, one night. And also there's a Walmart in Vegas you can stay at too that I stayed at. So I'll send you those, but you gotta email me. If you don't email me, I can't get that info to you. Um, okay. Any plans to go live with Novel Culture again? No, we probably won't do another live. Um, they're gonna be heading back probably tomorrow back to, um, where are they from? San Francisco. And then I'm gonna be heading to Havasu. Um, Cindy Lewis. Oh, someone wants to know where I got this drink. So I got this at Sprouts, but they have it at Whole Foods, Sprouts, any healthy organic place that sells mostly organic foods and natural foods. And it's a good way to get your apple cider vinegar in liquid form, but it doesn't taste as bad. It still has that right there a little bit but not nearly as bad as trying to drink straight apple cider vinegar you can easily sip on this throughout the day and be fine and you know how apple cider vinegar gets that uh, right there in your throat <laughs> um okay i'm gonna do one more question and then we're gonna start talking about the book okay alfred wants to know please explain blm land Bureau of Land Management. So basically it is land that the um, government owns that can be used to boondock on for free. And a lot of places out here mostly give you a 14 day pass. Some places don't have camp hosts, but um, um, officials will drive through or police will drive through or sheriff will drive through every once in a while and just take note of vehicles they feel have been there longer than the 14 days and you can rotate around court site is pretty much full of blm land havasu has quite a bit as well Ehrenberg also so you can jump around um and parker has some so you can jump around to those four places every two weeks if you want to just stay in arizona the whole time you can go to court site for two weeks and then, um, so, so the census is when you get that pass, they, they give you a two week pass, they put it in your windshield and you're supposed to move 25 miles or more away for two weeks and then you can come back. So basically if you take those four places, Quartzsite, Havasu, Ehrenberg and Parker, you can jump around those four places the entire winter and be completely, completely fine. Um... Alfred wants to know, is there an app for BLM land? It probably is, but I don't use one. Um, I've just been fortunate enough to either stumble upon it or I just ask, you know, it, it, you'll see people when you're driving through these towns, you'll just see people parked off the road. You know, I'm talking, and I don't mean one or two people. I'm talking like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people just parked and you know that's BLM land. But I'm sure if you Google it, easy. Google has everything. Somebody's already thought of it. It's on Google. Don't worry. All right. It is 5.01. My time means it's 8.01 your time. So I we're going to talk about the book. And the book was The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. So, um... I don't have a whole lot to say about this book. <laughs> and um, because it's not really my favorite genre of book. And 
I did not, um, I did not like the book because it didn't keep my interest and I don't really like something that doesn't keep my interest. And also, um, I don't know. It, it it was interesting as far as I got. I got to like the first two pages of chapter seven and that was it. It was it was really hard. It was really hard. Um, who read the whole book? Anybody in this chat who read the whole book? I'm going to ask that if you haven't read the book, that you hold any commenting you have. OK, because this is really kind of the, the real official live for the book club people. So, OK, so Julia read the whole book. Ooh, I need to send you a prize, girl. I gotta see. email me <laughs> and tell me I read the whole book. I'm gonna send you and give me your address. I'm gonna send you a prize. Oh my gosh, it was so difficult, so difficult to get through. But yes, email me um, your info. To, so I'll mail you a little something, something. <laughs> I don't know what, just something. But um, I couldn't get through it. I just could not do it. Um, Um, da, 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 da. chapter two okay listen to it does that count did you listen to the whole book if you listen if you because I did it on audible too but I couldn't get through the book and I mean I sat and listened to it and still couldn't get through it I listened to it while driving still couldn't get through it it was just it didn't hold my attention at all so if you listen to the whole book and got through the whole thing then yes go ahead and send me your um mailing information I'll send you a little prize but Julia you reading the whole book oh lord it's good. I don't know how you did it so I found it interesting because I can only talk about the beginning since I only got to the beginning I found it interesting in the beginning how he was really talking especially the first chapter or two how he was talking about the inner voice and how you can't control it pops up and how it's like you know to um it's constantly an ongoing dialogue and I have tried so many times to stop the inner voice from um, talking to me. And I can't. And the weirdest thing is I remember being a kid and I remember saying, I wish I could talk to myself in my head. There was a, compl there was a divine point where I knew I couldn't talk in my head that I was always audibly talking to myself out loud, but I couldn't do it in my head. And I remember, and I don't know how old I was, but I remember saying, I wish I could talk to myself in my head. Because I used to always mumble a lot to myself. And I always wanted to talk to myself in my head to keep quiet. Um, long story as to why that I wanted to be quiet, but I'm not talking about that today. That's another story. Well, I'll do a story time about that. Um, but I remember... And I don't know how long it was from the time I said that to myself to I actually started audibly hearing the voice in my head. I don't remember the time, but I do remember there was a time that I wasn't able to do it. And then there was a time that I was able to do it. And I don't know how it happened, but it has stopped, not stopped since that time. <laughs> it hasn't stopped. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, like he was saying in the book, sometimes you're just walking along and you're like, oh, a dog is approaching with the, its owner and you're like, oh, hey, look at that dog. In your head, you're saying this. Like, why do you need to say that? Why do you need to say, hey, look at that dog? Clearly, there's a dog coming. You see the dog. You can sometimes smell the dog. It's, you know, you, you hear the dog's feet walking on the, you know, sidewalk, the nails clicking. You don't need to audibly in your head say, oh, look at that dog. You already done all that. So I found that very, very interesting how... There's this dialogue going on that's really unnecessary. It's like, it's a truly unnecessary dialogue. You know, you're driving along and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in your head it's like, hey, look at that car over there. That car looks like my car. Do you need that audible thing in your head saying that? No, we don't need that voice in our head saying that because we see the other car. We don't need to hear it in our head. So I really would love to find some sort of meditation or, and I don't know if he talks about it more in the book, but since I have it on Audible, I have it for life. So maybe I will finish it at some point. But I would love to have some sort of meditation where I can erase that voice from my head because I feel like a lot of times that inner constant dialogue makes me physically tired all day long, you know? 
all day long, that inner dialogue going, 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 going. So anyway, that's all I really have to say about the book because <laughs> I didn't get far enough to talk about anything else. But um, yes, yes, Bilby, you are right that we are lucky that other people cannot hear our self-dialogue about everything and everyone. Yes, because imagine the things that go on in your head. Um, I did like the fact that um, he talked about trying to make that inner voice an actual physical manifestation, like picturing you have a roommate or a friend sitting next to you on the couch while you're watching the TV program. And every inner voice thought that person is now saying, and how crazy does it sound, the conversation that that person is having. <laughs> so I really, really, um, yeah. M. Garcia saying, I was in the car with someone and they kept on saying, look at this and look at that. Then I said, why do you constantly have to point out everything that you're seeing? That's true. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, I guess some people are like that. And maybe maybe some people haven't learned how to keep it in their head and not let it come out of their mouth. I don't know. That's interesting that somebody would do that, though. Your breathing will silence the inner, inner voice if done in meditations, Eileen is saying. Yeah, I think I need to find some sort of a meditational thing I can listen to while laying in the bed, especially before going to bed, because I feel like if I could turn that off, I would sleep so much better and I would get to sleep faster because a lot of times I lay in bed, sometimes for hours with that constant dialogue of stuff I want to make a video about this or did I remember to edit that one thing or uh, tomorrow I'm going to go to the library oh and I have a running grocery list in my head or you know it's like oh my gosh can you uh, <laughs> can you shut up so I can go to sleep and it just won't let me go to sleep it's so frustrating When I'm super sleep deprived, the inner dialogue gets really bizarre. And Bilby is saying, yes, controlled breathing does help to bring it back down to a tolerable level when I'm sleep deprived. Bonafide said, I keep telling you to get them edibles. <laughs> you know, I am in California. I should get some edibles. huh? <laughs> I am here in California. <laughs> I don't want to depend on edibles though. I want to control that inner voice because there are times even when I am awake and fully functioning that I would like to turn that inner voice off to be honest with you so that I can just focus on what's going on because there are a lot of times when I'm in a group setting and people are talking and I have an inner dialogue going on but I really want to focus on the speaker and I guess that's part of the bipolar 2 disorder as well um, but I would love to be able to control that inner dialogue a little bit better, especially when I really want to concentrate and focus on one thing and turn that off. Um, hi, Benita from North Carolina. <laughs> M. Garcia says, since I read the whole book, can you send me edibles as my prize? <laughs> Wait, M. Garcia, I thought you said you only got to chapter seven. Stop lying. <laughs> um, you gonna have me going to prison for mailing edibles. <laughs> I listen to TV or podcasts at night to drone out the voice. Yes, and that's, I think, a reason why I've always fallen asleep to the television or on my tablet now, Netflix. Sometimes I will turn on an episode of Star Trek and I will um, just let it play and turn over my back to the tablet and go to sleep and just let that episode play. Because um, honestly, sometimes I just need background noise. Um, and I know there are meditation things or I think maybe what I'll do is get an app that has like um, the sounds in it, like um, birds chirping or you can have ocean sounds or rain. Maybe something like that would be better because I also think sometimes I have weird dreams because I'm listening to actual words being said and maybe I just need a nice sound that I can breathe to meditate to and go to sleep to um, let's 
Someone is saying, uh, when you are married, you then effectively have two inner voices. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, um, calling shotgun, I wouldn't use a fan. I don't, um, it's, it would get too cold in here at night for me. Uh, I don't like falling asleep to a fan. Honestly, even a lot of times in the summer, as hot as it gets, um, sometimes I don't turn my fan on at night. Uh, I would open a window, but the fan blowing directly on me makes me so congested. Um, even if I have it blowing like on my body and not my face or anything, I still just something about, I guess it blows the dust and dirt around in the van and it just, I breathe it in at night. I've always had an issue with the fan blowing at night on me. It just makes me very congested. I've done that too. I've written things down. Yep. You write things down to get them out of your head, but then sometimes I just have that, what I wrote down just keeps repeating in my head. So I'm going to try some kind of meditation or something. So does anyone want to talk about a part of the book that I haven't read? I'm, I'm more than willing to listen to stuff and I can read your comments for those that are watching this and it's not live. I can read the comments. But if you found something very insightful further than I got in the book or, or, or not about the inner voice, please go ahead and type that on the screen and I will read it so the people watching this not live later can um, know what we're talking about. <laughs> So if you're not talking about the book, I'm going to ask you to hold those comments because I'm going to end this live in a few minutes and then come back on to another live and I'll talk about regular old chat chat stuff. So hold those chatty chat comments. We're talking about the book now. So anyone who read further than chapter four, please chime in. <laughs> uh, I mean, chapter seven, not chapter four. Did I say chapter four? I don't remember what I said. Um, nobody is chiming in. Julia, you read the whole book. What's up? You're not going to help us out here? <laughs> what struck you? I'll ask the question. What did you learn from the book or what did you, what really struck you? All right. Rhonda is saying, um, I mean, not, not Rhonda. Sorry. Eileen is saying chapter 11, pain is energy passing through, not going to stay um so don't hold on to it relax and release that's good so maybe i will read the whole book at some point <laughs> so chapter 11 pain is energy passing through not going to stay so don't hold on to it relax it and release i love that love that love that love that anybody else have something that really struck out or stood out in the book for them before we end this live and go to our random chat live and i got to give you the info um, of our next things that we're going to be doing <sighs> nothing 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 All right, M. Garcia is seeing, um, oh, Julia can't talk now. Okay. Sorry, Julia. Um, so M. Garcia is saying, um, this part of the book reminded me of you simply because you live in your van. If you truly want to grow spiritually, you'll realize that keeping your stuff is keeping you trapped because I live a minimum, minimalist lifestyle. Oh, I like that. That is good. Don't forget, Julia, to email me your information. You're the only one, I think, who read the whole book. And one other person listened to the whole book. Um, so two people. I like that. If you truly want to grow spiritually, you'll realize that keeping your stuff is keeping you trapped. I like that. That is true. A lot of times, um, holding on to things, holding on to items will trap you. Um, and I think that happens to hoarders a lot, if you think about it. They're, they usually have some sort of... Um, traumatic experience. M. Garcia, can you put the title of the book? Um, I think not the new book, the book we're currently talking about. Um, I think that a lot of times 
hoarders have a traumatic experience and they, they stay trapped in that, tra in that tragedy, uh, in that trauma, and they start collecting stuff. And they basically are building a wall of stuff. So I, I truly think that makes sense. I like that. M. Garcia, I would like for you to put the title of this book we're talking about currently on the screen. Someone's asking the title of the book in the author, please. All right, I'm going to give it about five more minutes for you to, if you read the book or any part of the book, doesn't matter if you finished the book because most of us didn't. Um, anything that struck you or stood out to you or really... Um, resonated with you in the book if you would please put that on the screen i'll read it out loud so those that are not watching this during the live session will know what it is that you got from the book um. Ooh, this is a good one i know i'm gonna mess up your name shakai no shakati oh i'm messing this up Sh shakti 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 i'm messing it up sorry Miss S. <laughs> Sorry. Um, says, I'd like to add that this book really put me face to face with my inner saboteur. I'm so grateful that you suggested it. Awesome. Thank you, Pam, for deleting that person. Um, actually, can you just block them and not delete the actual message? Uh, I could probably do it. I think I added myself as a yep, hide user on this channel. Okay, got it. Um, so, yeah, that's really, really cool. I, that is really, ooh, that's deep. She got deep with it there. This book really put her face-to-face -face with her inner saboteur. We do self-sabotage a lot, don't we? Oof. Yeah. Bye, Bilby. Um, okay, Rita, we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about the book. Um... M. Garcia saying, this part said that if we're really not trying to be free of our stuff, but instead we're trying to justify keeping it, and I'm guilty of that. You, you are guilty of that? A lot of people are guilty of that. Um, I'm even guilty of that in this small vehicle that I have. A lot of times I'll have stuff and I'll say, I really don't need this, but I'm going to keep it just in case. I think everybody has something or things that they keep for that just in case moment. Uh, excuse me. Um, so excuse me, um, everyone can say that, you know, no matter how big or small or whatever your space is you live in, there's always stuff that we keep that we don't necessarily need to have in our lives. So we're all guilty of that. <clears throat> um, all right, about three more minutes for you to share what you thought the book, um, either spoke to you, resonated with you, or something, or you learned. Um, okay, here we go. Fine film. Hi, Crystal. I read the book a few years ago. You don't need to send me anything, though. <laughs> uh, I remember getting a lot out of it. This discussion is jogging my memory. Thanks, y'all. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Anybody else have something about the book that really spoke to them, really resonated with them before we move on to tell you what the new book is? M. Garcia, um, I'm going to have you put the, not right now, but in a couple, like a minute or two, put the new book up so people can start um, thinking about whether or not they want to read it. Uh, if you don't mind, M. Garcia, if you can put up the whole thing you emailed me, if you're able to do that. While the live is going, I don't know. If you can't, then I can on my phone so you don't have to get off the live. Matter of fact, I'll just do it. Don't worry. Because um, I don't want you to get off of the live because you're helping me with the trolls. So let me pull up the email where we emailed each other. Uh, where did I put it? Do, 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 do. So type that one more time, M. Garcia. You said, if you let it go and stay in the seat of awareness, what you are noticing will pass. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, I think I have it. 
Uh, oh, yes, it will let me copy it. Yay. All right, copy. Yay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this one done and check mark it. Cha -ching. So I am now going to be posting. Oh, you did it. Oh. Well, dang. <laughs> All right, so the next book is The um, Alchemist by Paulo. How do you say that? Colo. All right. Oh, I thought I could put the whole synopsis on here, but I guess I can't. Oh, man. I was trying to put that whole synopsis you typed up, but it won't let me. It's cutting me off. So I'm going to have to cut that part out. All right. So the Hello Crystal is me. Um, so, yeah. So the next book is The Alchemist by Paulo Colio. I guess that's how you say it. So I've heard this book is a decent book. So um, M. Garcia has told me that, but in the past I've heard this book is a good book. So that's going to be our next book. In that book, I have my handy dandy Black History Month calendar that I got at the Black History Month thing. So the live video for that one will be on March 24th, the same Saturday, same time. So, um, five o'clock Pacific, which is eight o'clock Eastern. So same time. And I'm writing it on my calendar right now. So that's March 24th. So you have exactly one month to read this book. So, um, I'm going to be downloading it probably tonight and I'm going to write it on my calendar book club book club 8 p.m eastern standard time and then i'll put a 5 p.m in the circle because that's what time it is on the west coast and i'll still be on the west coast then i actually will be yeah i think i'll be on the, yeah i'll be on the west coast i'm trying to think either california or arizona but either way doesn't matter and I also, M. Garcia, if you would, um, oh no, I have to do that. Never mind. So, um, the Spotify that we're going to be doing uh, is going to be Snap Judgment. So, it's a free app. Spotify is a free app. If you go into podcasts and you are going to, um, you should be popping up on your screen now. So Spotify, we're going to do Snap Judgment. And we're going to do it. Um, on Saturday, the Oh, let's do it on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th, March 17th. So that gives you one, two, three weeks to listen to it. So March 17th, Please have listened to the Snap Judgment podcast on Spotify. It's a free app. All you have to do is download the app. You do not have to, um, it's obviously it wants you to get an account, but they're free account. You can listen to music and you can listen to podcasts just fine without um, buying anything. So it's going to be number 705 for that. Okay, so number 705. So Snap Judgment is the name of the podcast. So go on to Spotify, download it from your app store, or um, I think it might even be in the Apple store as well. Um, not Spotify, but whatever you listen to podcasts on, I think, I think it's already there. Um, yeah, if you can do that synopsis one more time for me, M. Garcia, for the book. And so the new book is The Alchemist. 
and the Spotify snap judgment is number 705. And I'm gonna open my Spotify just to make sure that I got that number right. And um, snap judgment, yep, 705. So what you do, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the Spotify symbol. Look at my babies, my son and my Junie B. So that's your Spotify symbol. You'll open it up. You'll sign up if you don't have it already. You'll go down to, um, you can go to either browse or search and type in Snap Judgment in the search. And if you type in Snap Judge, whoops, Judgment. Oh, I am not spelling very well today. Okay, if you type in snap judgment, huh, why didn't it pop up there? That's weird. All right, well, a list of things will pop up. If you type in snap judgment, it'll say songs, um, it would say podcasts and videos and podcast episodes. So I'm going to click on see all podcast episodes and that's not helping me. Why is it not popping up? Hmm. I don't know why it's not popping up. Let me see if I spell something wrong. Snap. Judge. Ah. Okay, so don't type the whole word judgment. <laughs> it pops up number one if you're in the middle of typing. J, U, D, and then G, and then stop there and snap judgment pops up as the first one. I don't know what this other one, the other one that was popping up. When I typed the whole word judgment, it didn't give it to me. But when I typed just to the G, it gave it to me. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's a picture. Let me see if I can get the picture of the cover. There it is. It's a picture of a guy with headphones on at a microphone like a DJ, and it says snap judgment. And then click on following and that'll save it in your library so you don't have to do that every time because that's a pain in the butt. Uh, what phone am I using? I am using a um, LG Stylo 3 and then I'm filming on my LG Stylo 2, the old phone that I had. I just put service back on it so I could have two phones because remember I was saying during the live videos it's a pain in the butt to have to get information to you guys and I only had the one phone so I put um, service on the old phone for an extra $20 a month, I added the account to this account. So this is my actual phone phone, but this one I'm using to film on because um, it just makes sense. That way I can look information up to talk to you guys about because I would always forget. Um, so yeah, and then once you get to the snap judgment and you click on it, it gives you a list of all the episodes. So go on the three lines here. Uh, whoops, go back. Tap the three lines and you'll get a list of choices. Go to where it says date and make sure you have it going um, down. So that means the arrow should be up. If the arrow is down, click on it. If the arrow is up, leave it. Because that means that it's gonna show you from the oldest to the newest. Because we wanna go down the list watching it. So just double check the dates. So the oldest one they have, which is not old, because they've gotten, they've taken off episodes and I don't know why, because they had a couple of 2015 episodes and they're not there anymore. So the oldest one is number 705, June 19th, 2017. So from this past summer. So that's the one I want you to listen to and it's called The Patient. So listen to that one. Spotify is probably not the only way you can get it. Um, let me... Where can I listen to Snap Judgment Podcasts? So it looks like CastBox, Stitcher, uh, podcastapp.io. Um, they actually have a website, Snap Judgment. So it looks like you can find it. Just Google it. I would just say Google it. Wherever you already listen to podcasts, it's probably there. So I'll read the um, what it says here. I guess this is um, 
NPR podcast directory says, Snap, Snap Judgment, Dramatic Tales, Killer Beats, and the Edgiest New Talent in Storyteller Storytelling come together for a weekly radio hour hosted by Glenn Washington. And I'm telling you, this is a good, good podcast. The music is excellent. Um, There's DJs who have the music with the story being told. And a lot of the stories being told are being told from first person hand, the person that experienced it. Um, there was a re- There's a really good one that we'll get to, I hope they don't delete it. I don't know why they would delete episodes, but excuse me, there are episodes deleted off of here, off of Spotify anyway. Um, but um, there's a, there was a really good one about a woman in um, the Middle East whose husband was in prison and they basically were doing a sperm exchange so that she could get pregnant while he was in prison. <laughs> so yeah, crazy how she visited him and they, how they figured out how to exchange his sperm and give pan it off to her without it looking like they were passing each other or anything. Crazy story, but it was the woman telling the story of what was going on. So I like those kind of stories. They're true stories and um, they're the actual firsthand accounts from those people. So I like that. So that's what we're gonna be listening to. Um, that's the snap judgment we'll be listening to number 705 I will put it on again M Garcia if you would please do the um, book again for me the title Um, if you would do the title of the book for me one more time and just title author and the date which is March 24th that we're going to be doing a live so if you would do that real quick for me I'd appreciate it so yeah, Spotify or whatever you can listen to a podcast on, look, listen to Snap Judgment and number 705 is the one we're going to be doing. So the podcast. And that one, the podcast will be, um, the live for that one will be on, what did I say, March 17th, 17th St. Patrick's Day. So March 17th will be that live. So you've got a book to read and a a podcast to listen to. Now, you can choose to do both, one or neither. (laughs) I don't care. Um, I would love to have the whole group do it. That would be awesome to have 50, 60, 100, 200 people reading the book and the podcast and on the live talking about them. But these aren't mandatory things. These are just fun things that I like to do because it's it's helping me, one, read more, and it's helping me to listen to other stuff besides Netflix stuff. And I really like Snap Judgment anyway, and I haven't listened to it in a while. So I want to go back to listening to it. There are some new episodes, so I'll probably be listening to the one we're doing together and keep going back and listening to some of the new ones too and feel free to listen to more than one just know that when I put a number up if you can refresh your memory by maybe listening to it again before we talk about it so you can have some input because I like it when you guys have more input than me I'd rather have you guys talking more than me to be honest so um yeah I mean it's fun for me to see what you guys um say you know you read it you know all that so I like that So anyway, so the podcast and the book. So we have new things to do. And if Miss Julia will, don't forget to email me your um, email information, I mean, your mailing address information so I can just send you a little prize for reading the entire book. Lord bless you. (laughs) I do plan on getting through the book. I don't, it'll probably take me a long time, but I, between doing other things, but I probably will read the whole book because it does seem like an interesting book once you get past some of the slower parts. So, um. M. Garcia, (laughs) I'm going to give you a prize just for helping me with the book club. Don't you worry. (laughs) But um, so, yeah, I'm excited to read the new book. I am excited to hear the podcast again, because if if I remember correctly, that was a really good one. Um, They're all really good, to be honest with you. So Snap Judgment's really good. Um, It's kind of like um, when you're binge watching a good show on Netflix, you go to the next one, you go to the next one, you go to the next one. Then, yes. It, um, 
that's how snap judgment is. Like I kept listening to them and it was good because I was listening to it across the country as I was driving. So it would just go to the next one. And that's really fun. And that's really good because they are so such good stories, like amazingly good stories. So I'm going to just step outside so you guys can see the beautiful view that I have. And then I'm going to go. I was going to come back and do another live video um, just to chit chat with you guys, but I'm extremely tired <laughs> and the sun's getting ready to go down and I've been talking all day. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to call it a day. <sighs> all right, I'm going to switch the camera around, let you guys see. This is my view. So I'm at Fiesta Island. I'm on a live video, woman. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show them you. <laughs> That's Pam. I'm gonna show them. Turn around. No, yeah, come on, turn around. Are you waving? Oh, there's Pam. <laughs> Look at the sun. It's about to go down. I'm at Fiesta Island um, in um, California, and there is a big gathering. Oh shoot! While I was on the live video, the woman left whose van I wanted to get a tour of. Damn it. Oops, I didn't mean to cuss, sorry. But all of these people are van dwellers of some sort or another, part-time, weekend warrior, whatever. But there were a lot more of them. They're all leaving now. It's getting cold. It's freezing out here. It's so cold out here. Okay. It's so cold. But we are right on the water at Fiesta Island. If you've never been here, this is my first time. Ooh, sorry about the... I've got the phone on a tripod, so sorry, it was a little too tall to get in. If you've never been to Fiesta Island um, in San Diego, I highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to close the door now because it is freezing out there. Ooh, it was much warmer in here, um, which takes away all my light. <laughs> sorry, that took away all my light closing the door. <sighs> all right, let's turn on. I'm about to get off the video. Anyway, let's turn a little bit of light on. That's not much because it's behind me. It needs to be behind the camera. Anyway, um, if you um, have never been to Fiesta Island, San Diego, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful here. Um, I would say that's probably much more fun to be here when it's hot and warm. Uh, it's just really cold right now. Um, uh, someone wants to know how Willow is. You guys always ask about Willow. That's so sweet. Um, she does She does not have a way to reach her on social media. But yes, yeah, she is fine. She is traveling with um, someone else. Um, one or two other people. So she's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. And I don't know if we'll meet back up before we each head back to our prospective homes. But I'm going to try and meet back up with her at the end of March. Just to give her one good old hug before I head back to the East Coast. And um, she's going back to Missouri. So, um, yeah, so she's fine, though. She's perfectly fine. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the live feed this morning with um, Lavelle and Paris, Novel Culture. Please go subscribe to their channel if you're not already subscribed. Remember, subscribing does not cost you anything. Please, please, please also go and subscribe to Uncle Lynn's channel. Um... Let me put the link to his channel up because Uncle Lynn is having a very difficult time getting um, his numbers up on YouTube. Let me pull up. Hold on. I got to pull his thing up. I don't remember. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Yeah. With YouTube changing all of their stuff, he's having a difficult time getting his numbers um to where they are supposed to be for YouTube. So I've got to pull up his thing. Hold on. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, this is not good. Hi, 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 I don't know how I can pull him up because I am logged in as my other self. Okay. I'm going to have to put this in the description box. So if you're watching this video, give me a few minutes to put it in the description box. If you're watching it live, um, come back, find the link in the description box, and please go subscribe to Uncle Lynn's channel. If you're watching this as a recorded, please go in the description box and hit the link and to go to Uncle Lynn's channel and please subscribe to him so he can get his numbers for YouTube so he doesn't lose his um, um, monetization and all that. So um, 
I would appreciate it if you would. Like I said, it never costs a dime for you to hit the subscribe button to someone. And you can just turn off notifications if you don't want to be notified about his channel. That's fine. But he does have a couple of pretty cool videos up there. He's just kind of getting into um, doing some videos. So he doesn't have a lot, but he does have a couple of pretty cool videos up there. Um, um, so you'll have to go look at YouTube's new rules. Someone's asking me how much how many subscribers do you need to get paid they've changed the rules starting on february 20th so if you would please just look that information up on your own if you just google it it will say to you um um it'll tell you in the youtube stuff it will definitely let you know okay hold on and i'm going to put the snap judgment back up the podcast make sure you listen to the podcast make sure you get the book make sure you do the book club read um m garcia if you could just throw that up a couple more times just kind of back to back copy paste boom 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 um new book new book club everything you guys i so enjoy having these um lives with you and i know you've been missing them but i've been trying to live more um behind out away from the camera so when you see me and I don't have a lot of live videos, that's why I'm doing stuff. I'm enjoying myself. And not everywhere that I am can I do a live video. So um, if you did not get your um, video, um, I mean, if you do not um, see a lot of lives for me, that's why. Because if I go somewhere and the music is not music that I have... Um, rights to i can't do a live video there um you saw the one video i did when we were at the um black history festival it got dinged and it is not being monetized right now because it has um the aretha franklin song in it but that dance was too good not to record so i risked it i risked losing money on that video so just know that i'm really trying to live my life I'm really trying to enjoy the van life and not always be in front of a camera all the time. But I do miss our live chats. Uh, I do um, know that I owe you some lives in March that are scheduled. So let's, um, we are supposed to have just, starting in March, we're supposed to have just live videos that are scheduled. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in sun, Sunday afternoon one, I believe it was. So we're gonna start doing our lives. Our scheduled lives will be the second Sunday of every month at 3, no, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, gosh. So much to remember. All right. So new monthly lives. I'm going to type it in. Whoops monthly lives every third Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that means that would be 3 p.m. for West Coast, right? Yeah. So there you go. It's typed in. You see it? Monthly lives are every third Sunday. Oh, I didn't spell it. The third is not right. It's a D. So monthly lives are every third Sunday, starting in um, starting in um, March, the third Sunday in March, which is one, two, three, the 18th. Oh, that's the day after having another live. Ooh, that's going to be a, March has got a lot of lives in it. <laughs> so I'm going to put all that information in the description box once this thing um, uploads. Um, and I'll also be doing a short two minute or four minute video with all this new information on it. Okay, guys, love you all. Thanks for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Oh, I have another tour that I did back in at RTR of um, um, Shannon or Sharon's van. She is in a road trek and she is another black woman. I will be uploading, uploading that video probably tonight or tomorrow. So love you guys, bye. Thanks, M. Garcia.